Well, hello, I'm Jenny Williams, and uh, I'm here today with my friend, Gussie Gillis, and uh, we are so excited to be chatting today with Barb Turville. Welcome, Barb. Hey, I'm so glad that you guys asked me to come on with you today. Well, of course, you're one of our superstars. And yeah, yeah. you <laughs> have done so many great things with the platform, and I just love to see how everybody uses it in their business to you know, make it work for you. So you've done something that's been quite unique as um, we are exploring EXP Realty and uh, we're going to be discussing the benefits today of how um, it can help your business and uh, the benefits that um, you may not even be aware of that you can even get in the real estate business. I mean, that's a huge reason why the three of us are with this company and uh, together our chat yep. is going to explore, you know, how it's helping Barb. So maybe you can see for yourself how it could help you. So, um, you know, Barb, tell us a little bit about, you know, you and your business. Well, it's an exciting time in real estate. This is my sixth year. And, you know, I know a lot of people who are saying that things are slow for, you know, COVID, but I'm telling you, this has been a wild time. Real estate is just live and happening. But what's exciting for me is that just a few weeks ago, we had the grand opening on my new office in Pell City. And so it's just amazing how, how EXP has really helped me grow my business to where I wanted it to be. I was at a previous brokerage before and had expressed interest in the very beginning of growing a team and having an office. And um, that just wasn't in their, in their makeup. And so come to a point where you have to decide what's best for your business and Gusty was so kind to tell me everything about EXP and how that they could help me with my dream and so here I am we um, we've been working together getting this rolling for the last few months and it's just snowballing yep I love that I know, I did too, and I hated that I missed it because I just really wanted to be there and support you because it's so important. Um, and the reason it's so important is because, you know, we're a company that doesn't really have, you know, brick and mortar. And, uh, but it didn't matter. You you saw the vision of what you wanted to make for yourself at, in Pell City and offer not only your buyers and sellers a place to, to come to a really nice place. Guess you said the furniture is just awesome. Yep. <laughs> I know, right? You, you have to come by and see us. It it's it's definitely cozy. Well, oh yeah, for the, sure. And the location is so the location awesome. Is amazing. I yeah, mean, sweet. right there downtown on the main drag, across from the courthouse. Like EXP is gonna is about to be all over Pell City and Lincoln and all those areas. Oh well, it already is because Barb is tearing it up. Um, so I love that area. I mean, it's just really so quaint and so much character there. So really a good choice for you to do that. Um, and what allows, um, well, first of all, too, I want to say six years in the business and look at what you've done. It's amazing. I'll tell you, I'm, I've had other careers. I have an accounting degree. I've worked in governmental accounting. I was an airline manager. Um, but wow, taking the step into real estate was like a no brainer. Um, and for me, you know, I have that accountant mentality. So I'm very conservative. And to go from a guaranteed government salary with all the holidays and, you know, guaranteed vacation to go into 100% commission, it was scary. But, you know, I took the leap and here I am. And it's been wonderful. Well, the link is a good decision for you, definitely. Um, so, I mean, that to me is another thing. Um, and guess who you and I talk about this all the time uh, is one of the things that I love about EXP as we're exploring it is that we get to be around people who are big visionaries, who have big dreams, who want to do big yeah. things. Um, and it makes us be better. And it lifts all of us up as a group because, you know, we're here to say, hey, you can do that. Is that your dream? Let's see what we can do to make that happen. And Absolutely. it's just such a different um, sense of community. Um, and uh, I was talking to um, an agent who's just getting his license this week. And he's like, you know, I don't want to be at a company where, um, you know, people are just doing this part time. 
I want to be with serious people who really want to make a difference in this business and for their clients. And we have that together. And I love that. And Barb, you're just like out there, you know, really um, uh, dreaming and putting that vision out there for what you see for you. And, um, you know, we're all um, uh, in support of that. And we really want to do everything we can to, to for, you know, to see it happen for you. Um, so you were able to take, because you know, where you were before is a franchise. And right. so it's very difficult to um, be able to either afford to buy franchises and have a name like that to go on. A well, and it wasn't even available. So, yeah. Right. yeah. I mean, so that's what I love about this. And Gussie, explain a little bit about how, you know, she was able to take the ELT business model and open her own brick and mortar, even though we're a company that, um, you know, is not traditionally brick and mortar. Uh, yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, I mean, it's really easy. I mean, so basically, like Barb is in Pell City, like I've got this Pepper Place office here in downtown Birmingham. You know, basically, we're branch office brokers. And so we hold a license so that we can have an active location, but we have we are designated uh, under uh, Brent Beavers uh, uh, at least north of Montgomery, and then um, the south of Montgomery and South have a different broker. And so everybody is funneled, and you've got one broker, you got one contact that's focused on on you. But it allows us to not have to worry about being in a certain area. Uh, as a franchise, being a certain mileage away uh, as far as franchise agreements and, and things like that. And, um, you know, with the brick and mortar model, um, I think everything, especially with, with COVID, you're going to start seeing either offices shrink or offices mm -hmm. disappear, right. and at least in the real estate business. And, um, you know, for from our standpoint, you know, everybody's different. Like, I'm an office person. I love the office. Um, just because, and especially I think I've, a lot of it is I have kids, young kids at the house, and kind of hard to get things done. So I like, you know, it's just like, it's like getting out of bed, getting, getting your clothes on, going to work, and just doing your job. And this is your job. The good thing about real estate is it allows that flexibility. And so, um, you know, the cool part is, uh, Barb has her brand, the Red Camellia Group, all over downtown Pell City. She is also welcoming other people in her downline to come and utilize her office. It is a huge benefit. It is a huge benefit. And other agents, especially that you know might want to have their own office, would have they they have to go through an approval process, but would have the opportunity to have their own brick and mortar should they choose. Right. Well, and I'll tell you another thing that is pretty exciting for me is I get a lot of feedback from other agents, other brokers in our area about EXP, you know, not really being um, reachable, that we are a cloud-based and, yeah. you know, if, if I crazy. was to have a problem that it would be impossible for me to reach the broker, <laughs> that they've tried to reach the broker before and they've never been able to. I'll and, um, I'll well, you I, just, I just had the opportunity today while I was standing with another um, broker who told me, I bet you that Brent Beavers doesn't even know who you are. I said, really? So let me just text him and see if he'll reply. He's like, oh, he won't. Six, it took 16 minutes, but he replied. And, Man. Um, but it was just funny because... That, that broker was sure that, that Brent Beavers had no clue who I was. And I said, I'll tell you that he does know who I am. And I'll tell you that I'll send him a text right now and he'll answer me. And, you know, 16 minutes. So I was pretty impressed. Well, and that is, like, I've got here where I sent him something at 619 the other night and he answered me at 645. Um, right. You know, I've got something at... Um, 254 he answered me within a few minutes um I, these are all the conversations that i have with him all well, the time what's right. funny is i had a conversation with him today too so how many people is actually reaching out to him because he responded <laughs> to me in two minutes but i did it on workplace and that is the trick work that chat is the it, trick. it's the yeah. trick <laughs> Okay. But I, had, but I had to do it on a text message today because I wanted him to see that in just real world, 
you can reach him if you are trying to. Well, yeah. in fact, okay, so we've all worked for other brokers before and we've all loved them, and um, but they're busy. And so when you have a brick and mortar, the reality of that is you've got a long line of people waiting to get to just talk to the broker. Um, and it could be just about something with their business. It could be that somebody needs, you know, to talk about their divorce. Somebody needs to talk about, you know, a situation that came up. Somebody needs to just have some encouragement. And a lot of times, your broker that is in the office with you can't get back to you because of all of that. Well, not having brick and mortar relieves rent from a lot of that. So there are 500 agents in Alabama, a little over 500. And um, he can be super responsive because he doesn't have all those people um, in his face. And um, right. so, I, I, you know, I've shared walls with brokers before that couldn't get back to me for two days. And it's yeah. not yeah. your fault. Same. Yeah, it's just, they've just been super covered up with everybody else. So um, there's so many benefits to it. And I'm like, Gusty, you know, I've been an office person um, my entire life until I found the freedom with this. And um, this just showed me I don't need that. I'm, I'm yeah. productive here at my house or I'm at a listing appointment in someone's house or with a buyer showing a house. So um, it's just so eye opening. And it's the, it's definitely the way of the future. And really, even before COVID, like you were talking about, you know, COVID has really made our stock go up because people have paid attention to, um, you know, releasing those chains of brick and mortar. Um, but, you know, the way that the business has evolved has been more and more people are working at home or out of their cars um, and maybe only come by for a meeting here and there. Um, and that's OK. Um uh, it's, it's better not to have that expense, but if you want it, you have the freedom to do what Bart has done, what Gusty has done, mm -hmm. to set that up for yourself. Well, and the biggest part of having an office is the opportunity to grow my team. It's really hard to grow junior agents who have no experience from my kitchen table. So it's a lot easier to bring them into an office setting so that they feel like this is a real job, not just, you know, Let's meet in my garage, kind of thing. So that's the whole <laughs> that's reason. That's Apple started there. <laughs> that's right. I know that works too. But yeah, the air conditioning might be a little bit better in the office. <laughs> you know, one of the th one of the things that you mentioned was when we're having the conversation about reaching our broker. Um, you know, the the key piece of that is uh, one word, and it's efficient. You know, this company is the most efficient real estate brokerage that is out there from what I've seen. And let me give you an example. Last week, and Jenny, you know this, Barb, you may, you may know this as well. So Taylor Jackson, who's one of the agents in our market, he closed on his first deal. And so he was trying to figure out how quick he would get paid. Because if you know Taylor, you know Taylor likes to get paid. <laughs> and he likes to get paid quick. And um, and so he actually timed how quick he would get paid. So part of the process, and talk about efficiency, part of the process at EXP is uh, you can get the closing disclosure and a copy of the check at closing. The closing attorney can email it to you because the closing attorney overnights it to EXP. So they email it to you. You upload it into SkySlope, which is our document storage center. And you send it for approval to the broker. He clocked it. You know what it came back at? 17 and a half minutes. Yeah, 17 yeah. and a half minutes, and he got paid. How well, efficient and, is that? You can't exactly. beat it. Yeah, there's been other brokerages that I've been at where they're not even going to consider writing you a check until you have brought clear in the bank. that check and it's cleared the bank. But I mean, my last two closings that I had, I took pictures of the closing documents, uploaded them in SkySlope. I mailed the check the next day, but I got paid before I, that check even hit the mailbox. So I love it. It yeah. is so good. The only one I've had to wait on. That would have happened at Brick. <laughs> <laughs> I wish, but, you know. Right. I understand. Well, but every broker wants to provide those kind of services. That's just like you said, it didn't happen at Brooke, but you wish it did. And that's why yeah. so many independent brokers are coming on board with the XP because 
you can tap into the efficiency and the systems that are art that are so scalable because you know when I started there were 5,000 agents with EXP we have 31,000 now I mean it's amazing and I've just been I mean, having been here two years I mean that's the growth because people were finally learning about the benefits that they can't get anywhere else and yeah. let me just give you this I don't care what your broker offers as far as a cap and a commission split. Um, yes, that's an awesome thing that we have here, but um, it is so much more than that. Um, uh, we have an 80-20 split and there's no royalty that comes on top of that. It's a true 80-20 split. Um, now we do put, most of us put 5% toward an agent equity program to buy stocks. So that's 5% that um, will go toward that. And then, um, we pay $16,000 in on our cap. When we go to 100%, um, we pay a $250 transaction fee. So it's pretty simple and it's actually sustainable as well. Um, and that 5%, just so you will know, like adds up so quickly, doesn't it, y'all? Oh my gosh, yes, it really does. It's pretty wild. It is pretty wild. Yeah, and you know, when you talk about the, um, there's no, um, you know, you've got an 80-20, there's no franchise fee. No. And that's really key. Um, you, you can kind of call that fee whatever it is. But, there, you know, we are one company because I, I get that asked a lot. You know, you know are, are, do you have the franchise in Birmingham? No, there's no franchise. We're one company globally. And we are on the stock market, NASDAQ, EXPI. And I'm going to look it up. And while I'm looking it up, y'all can talk about stock. How about that? <laughs> yeah, it was trading earlier um, at around sixteen dollars and forty-five cents. Um, yeah. So most of us who have it, right, we're fanatics about checking it. Where is it today? Um, sixteen seventy-nine. Just yeah, so you know, right. right now, sixteen seventy-nine. <laughs> So it's so much fun um, and it's really, it's, you know, there are other real estate companies that have, um, uh, you know, that are traded, um, but not that you can earn. And right. so I've earned almost as much as I've um, paid in and bought at a 10% discount. So um, I don't know, have you been checking yours like crazy, Barb? I know, I've just looked at it last week and I was just like, that's nuts. Um, it's pretty exciting to see it. And, and, you know, I am an accountant, so I'm a little bit of a numbers nerd. And so, yes, it does make me, <laughs> makes me yeah. smile a little bit. I know somebody, an accountant said the other day, it's just funny some of the objections you hear about um, some of the stock, like other brokers will say, oh, it's not worth anything. Oh, it's a penny stock or, oh, you know, <laughs> they'll poo-poo it. <laughs> And, oh, you can't spend it for three years. And, yes, we can if we buy it at a discount. Then I can sell it tomorrow. Um, I just put in to sell um, half of my stock last week. And um, still not sure if I'm going to go through with it yet or not. <laughs> I guess don't do it. Don't, don't, do, it. don't, don't do, do it. I don't think that's a wise move well, either. I have a reason of why I want to do it. But, um so I've got half of it in there, but I've got a bunch that's still going to be vesting for three years. So that's a forced savings for us um, whenever we earn um, any stock awards. And uh, what, two weeks ago, I earned eight awards um, and we get an award for um, having their first closing. We get an award for capping. We get an award for someone joining and having their first closing. So there's so many different ways to earn it that. Um, if you're just considering, hey, how much is your split and, you know, uh, how much do I have to pay into the company? You're missing the bigger business picture, the overall, you know, long term benefit that's going to help you and your family. Um, but Barb, you'll appreciate this. So there was an accountant who's also a real estate agent who was kind of, you know, checking out, you know, the stocks and uh, an agent just said, hey, wanted to show you we've gone up so much in stock. And his response was those taxes have such um, implication. I mean, those stocks have such tax implications. And I mean, it makes me laugh because all income does. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right? So it is funny about the different um, kind of objections. And if you don't see the bigger picture, gosh, you're just missing out on so many benefits. And I am looking forward to my um, stock award because I will be capping the end of this month. So I'm oh, so I'm going to ask you about that. Yeah. I knew you were like super. Yeah. Excited. I'm close. So, that's so good. Okay. So then you're going to be on your way to Icon. 
That's right. And, okay, so as we're exploring EXP, um, an icon award is, and Gus usually has his nearby. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Look. Dun, dun, dun. There it is. There it is. Barb, you're going to have one soon. That's right. And uh, Vicky's actually watching. She's working on hers right now. Um, and uh, I can't wait to, for her to, to get there as well. And Sky said, um, hey, Barb, and gave you a hey, big heart. Hey, Sky. <laughs> and uh, Melanie, I love you too. Thank you so much for joining us today. So, Icon Award is. It just motivates the crap out of you to do more, to go places you've never been, to follow up, to just really put yourself out there and um, earn this award. You get motivated by getting to that cap because it takes about 2.8 million somewhere in there to cap. Um, but then after you pay in $5,000 in transaction fees, I told you about that $250 fee. Right. Um, so roughly about 20, you know, just go ahead and bump that up and count on about 23 more. <laughs> and uh, that way you're totally covered. Um, uh, you'll get your cap back that you paid into the company in stock. Yes. And, and it cooks. It cooks for three years. So um, it's, it's over there vesting for three years and growing and growing and growing and by the time it becomes available, this this really makes a big difference in your financial future. Um, so uh, I earned it last year. Gusty just earned it, and uh, I'm uh, I am 14 more away from hitting it this year, and uh, super excited about that. I'll be halfway there by the end of July. So you will cap at the end of July, and then you will be on your way. To be um, getting those, you know, hitting that 2023 20, more transactions mm -hmm. to get yours too. So, and yes. there's no doubt, you'll get it. Yes, I'm excited. <laughs> and awesome. it's you, know, you, you know what's crazy, Jenny, is, um, you know, I think it was this week or maybe last week, um, uh, we had, um, you know, we're talking about awards and, you know, the Icon Agent Award is pretty awesome. Um, but Chad Beasley was like, hey, have you heard about this award? And, <laughs> And we hadn't even we had no idea about it, and so they, there's even other awards like production awards, and we didn't even know about it. So you know that that was pretty cool. That was pretty exciting. It's so cool. In fact, he and I talked about it several times this morning. He's hitting that double diamond, and so we're explore, we're still exploring exp, y'all. <laughs> uh, that's right. That's right. You know, there's just you know I was on a I had a conversation with a, a lot of the the. Um, the, the leaders of EXP around the country. And, you know, one of the things that's very, um, you know, it, to me is really cool is we're on a call with the president of the company. And so I have access to the president of the company on a weekly basis. And what is he doing? He's not only teaching us, he's allowing us to give him feedback on what is in the best interest of all the agents at the company. And so there's time that we give him feedback, and then I we didn't we kind of ran out a little bit of time today, so I wasn't able to get my questions asked. But I sent him a message, and within two minutes he responded, said, "Great request. This is who you need to talk to." And that's the, that's what I love. Also, yes. when we're talking about exploring the company, our leadership, they're in it with us. To win it, they're trying to make this as best a company as possible, and it's run by agents because we're giving them the feedback saying, this is where we want to go. This is what we, what we would like to see, and I can't say that every company out there is like that. I, I've been at companies that are not like that. The leadership tells you why it's so awesome to be there, <laughs> and then you're like, um, okay. Right. So Barb, since you've been here, like what do you feel um, you know, as you've been exploring EXP, what are some of the things that have really been refreshing for you? Well, I like the ability to go online and access the training. Um, I think that that's a great opportunity for any agent to be able to just go into that library that we have there at the world and look into and, and pick and choose what works for you. I mean, just because there's training at the franchise doesn't mean that that's something that you need. So having the ability to just go online, pick and choose, 
I think that's great. The support within the system. I mean, I've been sending other agents who are with EXP leads just because I know that that's their area. And, you know, again, we're all in this together. And like, like Gusty said, this is an agent owned company. And so even if I send somebody over to another agent, it still is a win for me. Yeah, absolutely. And it's amazing the amount of referrals that are passed around. There's a, there's a referral group in um, our workplace. And I mean, I, it, I would think that there's probably anywhere from 10 to 20 referrals that get sent out on a daily basis. Have y'all looked at that? Oh yeah. It, I mean, just, yeah. it's, it's unreal. I've just experienced so much. I closed another one yesterday that came from an agent, an EXP agent in Delaware. And uh, extremely grateful for that. I have um, a check that came in the mail today that was 900 and some odd dollars from uh, somebody that I sent a referral to in Florida. So um, it's just, we have such a great network and I never got that from some of the other companies. You know, I've been with Remax before, never got any referrals from the other Remax agents. Um, I've been with Keller Williams before. I never saw the amount of referrals that um, went through that company that goes through our company. And I'm uh, frankly, I was quite shocked by that. Um, very shocked about uh, how many referrals come through our company. And we've got them at different yeah. levels. Like uh, we have our own icon referral program. Um, so that we know that if it's something serious that we need an expert in, we can go look for um, a, a certain uh, level of expertise in the, you know, in our icon group. Um, I found someone who actually specialized in people going into assisted living centers um, and work with, you know, being able to sell houses that um, have hoarders. And um, that's a big deal. You know, that's, that takes a, a lot of patience and a lot of skill. And she's done lots of those houses before. And I mean, it's just amazing how we can connect. Um, so, but, you know, Barb had mentioned the, the training and you're right, because normally if you have a franchise, you have to do a one size fits all training. If you're doing a lunch and learn or if you are, and, and a lot of times you're top hungry, you know, successful, um, systematic people who want to do big, big things, they kind of get left out because you've got to go over contracts or you've got to go over how to keep yourself, at, you know, out of trouble. And, you know, the, the top people are never fed. Um, we have a uh, training that we can go to that goes straight from people who are closing hundreds of transactions a year. Of course, we have Dusty here, but um, <laughs> we can just go to him for training. I know. I just call him all the time. <laughs> okay. And do I respond to you? It takes yeah, about I, I, I've, I've heard that. I've heard that it's hard. I've heard I'm a hard to contact. Yeah, well, I don't know. Not for me. Um, I, I have you on speed dial, and it seems like um, you answer immediately anytime I that's right. ask a question. So yeah, that's right. I, yeah. I try to be a solution to to everything. So yeah. you know, I, I, you're you're working on Central Vac this right. week. Guess who I asked? Yeah. Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah. that was awesome. So um, I tracked him down for you. Well, that was awesome. And it was really funny, too, because, you know, I was just in the thick of things. And then all of a sudden, boop, right into my text message, something about, a you know, central repair, um, back repair. I was like, Gusty, I love you. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Teamwork. Teamwork. Well, it is. And so Sabrina was here today um, helping uh, uh, me get some things done for my CE school and just getting some things organized because, you know, an audit will be coming up soon, I'm sure. And, uh, yeah, I want to make sure everybody, I'm not missing anybody's credits and uh, getting all of that done. And so, I, I mean, I couldn't answer most of her questions because I was, I was on the phone literally all day with our agents. <laughs> this is where you can go to see how many transactions EXP has closed. And by the way, we've closed 844 transactions. We are number six in Birmingham, uh, Greater Alabama MLS right now. Awesome. Moving yeah. on up. We have 3.75% market share. Yeah. So Pretty good uh, for a company who's never been heard of, right? I know, yeah. right? Um, I mean, really, we, we just are working with some of the best. And uh, not only 
awesome humans, um, but really good real estate agents. And uh, even our brand new ones are just doing so well. And, um, you know, I've got a mentee that's closing about a million a month. I mean, there's just, there's so many that are just a year and two years into the business that are capping. And um, I know, like Vicki, Vicki, you know, this is like her second year and she's capped already. She's on her way to Icon. Um, Kathy Merkel, who is in um, Prattville, on July 2nd with her closing this year, she's earned more money this year during COVID and everything else than she did all of last year. Wow. You know, that's the difference that um, we are seeing because of the, the awesome support and resources that the company provides. And you have to tap into them. You definitely have to yep. tap into them. But um, it's just fun to see that, um, you know, we're number um, six, we're number seven in volume. And uh, we have just surpassed a lot of um, some of the bigger companies that close at 844 transactions. And, you know, uh, we're still growing. Um, we're still a baby here, even though the company is 10 years old. I want to make sure everybody knows that. Um, Gusty and I did not buy this. <laughs> People ask us all the time. We started it. No, um, it was around 10 years ago, and uh, it's just now becoming popular here because you're just now hearing about it. Um, you just didn't know it was an option. All right. So I can't wait because, you know, Gussie threw out a 25 by 25 for us um, goal whenever he joined, and um, we're into that. We're going to get another 5% each year. We're going to hit that 5% by the end of the year. Yeah, already, we are. Yeah, we're already at 3.75, and here we are in July. I mean, we've got the rest of the half of the year, and just think about, I mean, everything that you're doing hard, every time I turn around, you have a new listing. It's gorgeous on the lake. Um, Jared's having a closing like every day, Jared Bacon. <laughs> um, they're just People are having lots of closings, and uh, we're getting more and more market share, more awareness as well. And yep. so it's fun. Yeah, and so even with that 25% market share, we're, we're focused on getting to 5% by the end of this year. So that's what we're really looking for. And 11 months ago, when we made the transition over to EXP Realty, at that time, EXP, at least in the greater Birmingham market, was just a hair under 1% market share. So in 11 months, We've gone from under 1% to 3.7%. Just wait this time next year. Just wait this time in two years. Just wait this time in three years, baby. Unstoppable. That's right. We're coming. Unstoppable. Whether right. you like it or not, it's happening. It's happening. So, so um, Barb, like, what, you know, what, what's your vision for what, you, you know, how do you want to grow Cal City? Like, what do you see there? Like, what do you see for your team? Are you including outside agents that aren't a part of your team to, to be a part of, you know, your world in Cal City? You know, share oh, yes, that. Um, I've invited, you know, everybody is welcome to stop in at my office if they want to use my conference room or something. They're more than welcome. My plan, and Gusty and I have talked a little bit about this, is getting the real estate school um, so that we can get new folks who are interested in getting their license a place to come in and, and be able to, to take the course there. Um, you know, we're growing, but where I would like to be is eventually um, I have the ability to, I guess, expand my office size probably another two-thirds. And it would be great to have, I don't know, 50 or so agents right there in, in the heart of Hell City, just downtown and, and making an EXP proud. So I'm, I'm excited about just the growth opportunity and, I mean, have another agent who's joining us. And so that'll bring my count to four. I have another agent who's working or she's working on getting her license. And so... I mean, I'm, I'm. And I met her, by like, the way. Yes, she's gonna be good. She's great. She's gonna be good. She is not afraid to talk. Let me tell you. No, she's not. <laughs> no, she's. <laughs> she's gonna be good. Yeah, she's gonna be awesome. So, my goal is at the end of the year that I've got ten agents, and I think that that's going to just allow the EXP market to just expand exponentially. For sure. Well, it grows so quickly and uh just because um it, once you really look at it it's a no-brainer 
um, uh, you know, if you're looking at um, personal issues because you love your broker or something like that, that might keep you from, you know, making total sense of, of what the business model offers. Um, but I mean, it's, it's really just the best thing that is available. Even when you compare it to, um, you know, discount brokers that where you can, might only pay a transaction fee. And there are several companies out there that are like that, that you know, you just pay a, a certain amount to the broker. Um, and that's absolutely fine, but you don't have the long term benefits for that. That's a short term today fix. Right. And, um, you don't have the, the stock that's accumulating in your account. I mean, I've got over 50,000 in my stock account. Um, you have over 50,000 in yours, don't you, Gusty? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, I'm not quite there yet. <laughs> but, you, but, but, but I will, will be. Yeah. I mean, Gusty has either more than I do, or um, I think you have more than I do. And I've been at the company longer. It's because that 5%, when you have more transactions, you know, so as you're feeding it in more and more, Chad had over 50,000 and he's like, I haven't even been here a year. That's and crazy. Um, it is. And so yours is going to accumulate very quickly. And uh, I don't know. It's just, I mean, that's when you're just like, you know, yeah. skeptical, you know, yeah. because it, a lot, you can be skeptical about a lot of the benefits. And, you know, I was just like, oh, whatever. That doesn't even like red share. I was like, I'm not even worried about that. That's, you know, I just really want the stock benefits and, you know, go on and, and, and be able to hit icon. I think that would be great. You know, that was really kind of what I was focused on. And, you know, until you experience everything the company can do for you. So as it grows, <laughs> yes, Brent, the EXP broker is pretty awesome. And <laughs> I actually shared that with everybody. So yeah. you have been tooting your horn, sir. <laughs> his, his ears must have been burning. <laughs> they were all I know it. Okay, and if you don't believe that our broker is accessible, you know, he's actually on our Facebook. That's right. Live. That's right. Yep. <laughs> so Absolutely. Thank you for everything that you do, Brent. Um, yep. But, you know, when you hear people throwing out numbers like with RevShare, so, you know, as we explore RevShare, you know, what is RevShare? You want to explain that, Gusty? Sure, I'd love to. Um, <laughs> Brent coming in again. He is humble as well. He, he's uh, and he has ravishing good looks, by the way. Yeah, yeah. So that that's the one thing he hasn't commented. So I wanted to throw that out there for uh, to you, Brent. Um, yeah, rev share. You know, I get the question about what is revenue share, and so you know, when I was running a brokerage, you've got your income, you've got your expenses, and then you have your Profit, maybe. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but but you've got those expenses, and uh, but you, you do have the income. You've got the expenses. That equals your profit. It, uh, hopefully, you've got profit. And um, you know, so you've got companies that are out there that offer a profit share, and, and that's fantastic um, if there is profit. Um, but with revenue share, it is you know what you're going to get. And because it's off the top. So, you know, whenever Barb has a, a transaction that closes, um, you know, people that have brought her to the company uh, get to share in the revenue towards the company. Uh, so how cool is that? So, you know, it's one of those things where I look at, look at it as a net so when I was running a brokerage, I could say, all right, well, I guesstimated that we would generate in, in revenue certain amount per agent. Well, when you think about that and then you could put in your expenses, then you have a net amount that you look at for each agent. And that's how you have to budget, at least running a brokerage. And so I'll look at revenue share as a net. And my net in a revenue share is significantly more then my net would have been running a brokerage, okay? And at the same time, I've removed my risk, my liabilities, and by the way, I can grow globally and not just stay in Birmingham. Yeah. So it is a huge difference, and uh, revenue share is real. Um, it, uh, to tell you how real it is, I was doing some numbers this morning, and, um, and those numbers, if I would have had $2.15 million in the bank 
that generated, we'll say 5% interest, that is what that investment would look like from a revenue share standpoint of what I received in June. So it's like I had over $2 million in the bank. Now, I don't have $2 million in the bank. I will gladly like to have $2 million in the bank, and hopefully I will have $2 million in the bank at some point. But the beauty of what this model provides is revenue share um, helps uh, generate revenue if you look at trying to attract people to the company. You don't have to do it, but guess what? It makes sense to do it. And that's why that I, and I just enjoy talking about the company. So, mm -hmm. well, it's just life changing for people. So, um, and uh, like Barb, you, you've got a couple of new people. You just said that you were interested in bringing uh, having a school to have people um, take classes mm -hmm. here. So um, that means that you have to have resources for new agents, right? Right. You're not going to set people up for failure by asking them to join this company. Absolutely and not. Yeah. So, um, does that mean that you're also a mentor? I am. I am a, an official mentor with EXP. And oh, so, nice. Yeah. I, that's awesome. That's exciting too. I mean, it's just it's a it's a great opportunity to give back, and that's been my whole, I guess, push in real estate. Is I've always been in the customer service kind of mentality, um, and I like to give, and I feel like. The more you give, the more you get. So, givers gain. That's right. Well, and that's true. And that's actually the whole red share philosophy and how it works. So, and that's kind of why I brought it up for two reasons. One, because you have a heart for helping the agents. And uh, this is the kind of company that is perfect for you having a heart for other agents and helping them succeed because um, they don't have to pay you because you'll get paid. By helping them through red share. Um, and the other thing is being a mentor and giving back and helping, you actually get compensated for that just a little bit. We don't do it for the money, Lord knows. <laughs> we get 10% for the first three transactions. Um, and, you know, we go on appointments with people and uh, like really all day. And, and a lot of the agents that call me, I'm not their mentor. And I helped an agent with, you know, talking through an inspection today. I helped another agent through um, the language on um, uh, uh, how to go back and, and offer an, ask for an appraisal guarantee on something between two offers that she was working with. Um, uh, we're here to help and be a resource. And um, when you have that kind of heart, RevShare pays that. And so um, guesting our each day, we're having so much fun going, where's yours? Where's yours? Where's yours? Where's yours? Where's yours? <laughs> And it could be that each agent contributes like $40 here and, you know, 60 here. And I think um, like Carol was our guest last week. I think uh, everything that um, on a total contribution, I may have made $60. I love her. But it adds up. <laughs> it does. It adds up. And I'm so glad she's here. And so the way Red Share works and the reason overall, it, 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 and, and granted, I, I'm very transparent. I'll always show you my numbers. Um, and I, I am over 51,000 um, earned this year in Red Share alone. So, I mean, can you imagine what how your life would change if you just got an extra $51,000 for doing what you love and taking care of people that you love? Um I can't even believe it half the time. Really, I can't. Uh, so, and when it gets to that point, and Brent kept saying it was going to be at that point, he kept telling me that. And uh, I'm like, it, it doesn't matter. I don't care if it does or not. I'm just here to help. And now that I see it, I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> it is huge. It is. Game changer. Yeah, it is definitely for real. Um, you know, and it's fun just to see what everybody's is and how it's growing. Um, Barb, you said you've got a goal for you know helping ten people and um, you know uh, choose EXP. And whenever you do that, we're here to to talk to people and make sure that they understand the company as well, so that they can join for you because it helps us too. Um, That's right. So it's a true partnership. It is. That's right. It definitely is. And um, so how it works, let's break down some of the numbers so everybody knows what we're talking about. Um, 
one one point though before I break that down is um, with Brent saying, you know, I love y'all. Of course, we love you too. And, and Gusty, you said I don't have the um, expense or the liability anymore. I just get to take care of the people and help them. But yet we're share owners. That is, I didn't want to be a broker again. I didn't want that burden of constantly working on problems. Now, helping on a situation to make it a win-win is not working on problems. Helping people get out of lawsuits, that's working on problems. I don't want that in my life anymore. I don't want to be a broker. I don't want to you know, try to calm down upset people that um, an agent made angry. I don't want that in my life. I want to help people get better, be better, me be better. Um, and I don't have any of that nastiness anymore. And yet I still get to be an owner and I don't have to write those big checks um, to keep the doors open to take care of everybody else and feed everybody else's family, but mine. So that is a huge reason that independent brokers are coming to our company. Um, yeah. But okay, so as we break down, you know, um, uh, if you, Gusty, want to explain, like, you know, how the numbers work. Yeah, I mean, the, here's the easiest way to explain it. Like, if, if so, say Barb is a sixteen thousand R capper, then uh, basically, if I brought Barb in, I would make twenty eight hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. And then if if Barb made twenty eight hundred, oh, if if Barb was a capper. And then I brought her in and made $2,800. The person that brought me in would make $3,200. And the person that brought that person in would make $2,000. The person that brought that person in would make $800, $1,200, $2,000, $4,000. So what you've done is you've created a, a, a business relationship with people that have a financial interest in your growth and well-being. That means you, in essence, have seven partners for your business growth. So that's pretty important. Think of those folks as coaches, mentors, business partners, and, um, and, and that's probably one easy way to explain it. It's hard to just like, you have to kind of see it from a, from a vision standpoint, but that's kind of an easy way to talk about it. It is. And um, I, you know, I, so many great people are on the first line that they're great attractors that I have. Um, and especially Gussie, I have more people on my second line. It's the it's the biggest ever. And that's, you know, thirty two hundred dollars if people cap. Not everybody sales. And um, we, we know. And it's OK. Yeah, it's totally fine. Um, uh, so it's, it's amazing how it can happen overnight. We already have people already down on our seventh line and you know what, they are just as important to us. Um, you know, that even that eight that is not included in, um, you know, our, you know, financial alignment, um, we're still here for, for them. And, uh, it's just amazing to see like, Barb, you, know, you said you want to grow it and expand it. Um, just look out girl, you're going to make it happen. I know I'm, it is exciting. And, you know, I have people reaching out to me all the time now who are like, okay, I really want to get my license. Can you tell me how? And I'm like, absolutely. I will be happy to, you know, hold your hand through this and, and get you to the next level. I mean, it's just, it's so rewarding to see be, people. If, you know, I, I listen to podcasts all the time. And one of my favorite was, there was a, an agent a broker who was telling her new employees or agents under her that if you will just do the things that I tell you, that there is no reason why in two years you're not making six figures. Well, and I came from that same school when I originally got into the business. And it's amazing that if you will just do what you're elders are telling you to do you will make the money and you'll be able to be able to bless the lives of others as you go forth and I mean I'm living proof to show it and you know yes if you will just follow the model you will be successful but you have to follow the model you can't sit in the back seat you have to sit in the driver's seat and press that foot all the way down and, and accelerate well, and so many ways to get leads to be able to do that, to be able to drive that and to accelerate that. We've got um, Op City that comes in from the, the company itself, and we don't have to pay for that. You just pay a referral fee whenever you close. 
Um, we've got referrals that come from uh, agents across the country. Um, and there are different ways that you can stand out as well. So um, Karen Burns is a weightlifter. And so I told her, go in and make a group in our workplace um, of EXP weightlifters and um, share tips with each other as you're, you know, building that community. And uh, and she was really good. There are going to be lots of people joining that group. And um, <laughs> Michelle Lankel is a, um, a bike rider. Like she does long distance bike riding and mountain bike riding. And that is such a tight knit group across the country. So she's putting that group together in workplace. And just think about the different referrals you'll be able to get by standing out in it, not all being about real estate, but being about interest in who we are as people and connecting. Because um, that's really what we're good at doing um, and working with like minded people. Um, yep. That's fun. You know, that's talking about the fun side. But we also have KB Core. KB Core is our lead generation websites that's included in our $85 a month fees, which is so cheap. Um, uh, all of our systems are included in that and they're all virtual and they're all super efficient. Um, this is how we get paid, it's included in. Um, uh, all of our dashboards to keep up with our sales. We'll know exactly what we have in stock every single day. We know exactly what we have coming to us in rev share every minute by minute. Um, uh, there's no guessing. There's no waiting at the end to figure out if the business made a profit and, you know, what mystery percent you might end up getting out of that. Um, we know um, all of this ahead of time. We're completing our 85. So all the leads that come in through our KD4 system, um, uh, are amazing because we have, uh, we control the expense on that. Um, and that's going to be through Facebook or Google click ads. Um, or just, I get a lot of organic that just go to my website because they saw something and I'll end up having leads just in the past six days. I've had 15 seller leads come in and um, through KB core. And if you're, if you don't think that's impressive, <laughs> then try lots of other lead generation. <laughs> tools. Yeah. No doubt. No doubt. Hey, Jenny, I got a question for Barb. All right. Um, what has been the most surprising thing to you since you've transitioned to EXP? The most surprising thing? Yeah. Like something that you, you um, didn't, you know, like one of the things that, that I didn't realize about EXP is I didn't realize how collaborative and like how – um, nationwide, how collaborative the the company was and is, and and that really shocked me and that really surprised me because of being a cloud based company. So what I wanted to figure out is like what what's been like what's shocked you about EXP or what's what's caught you by surprise or anything like that. Just how easy it was to make the switch and that everybody from you know. So we are a cloud based, but there are real people on the other end who are making sure that the agents are successful. And, you know, you've got those real folks back there who are making sure our files are compliant, making sure that we're going to get paid at the closing table where before and other places I've been. Yes, everybody, there were back end people, but like, I feel like the folks who are on sky slope and checking our paperwork and stuff are they really want to see you succeed they want you to be able to get your check right away and you know so just knowing that yes we're cloud-based but there are real people back behind the scenes who are there to yep. help you no matter what and like i ran into a snap food or i guess two weeks ago i had a closing that some things didn't jive up correctly, and um, I'll tell you what, it was an 11 o'clock closing, and we made everything happen. It was fabulous, and, you know. That's awesome. Yeah, and so there are, there have been other offices where, yes, I can reach out and touch my broker, but he couldn't make the problem go, you know, to be solved that quickly. So, yes, yeah. I, I, yeah. to know that it's a cloud-based. That's awesome. It's real. There's people out here who are are just waiting to jump up and help you no matter what you need. So Yeah, well and speaking of, you know, real people, you had an opportunity to meet 
the CEO, Jason Guessing. Right. Yeah. Um, and so you want to talk about that experience? Well, that was cool, too. When I was thinking about moving over to the company, Gusty invited me to one of your little soirees. And, yeah, Jason Guessing was there. It was great. And um, just to be able to sit and chew the fat with one of the, you know, the, the upper crust and, and where they're actually interested in what you had to say. I mean, I've been to, to other forums and, and they smile at you, but no, like just Jason really sat and talked to me. I think we probably sat on the couch at your house for an hour and just really talked about, you know, what was going on and, and what, what EXP could do to, to make my goals real. So, you know, yeah. they were no longer goals, but like, this is my actual life now. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was really cool to see y'all's interaction, uh, by the way, because I mean, he was locked in on y'all's conversation. And I just think like Jason's, you know, really one of the, being the CEO of EXP Realty allows you to be one of the most powerful men in real estate, whether he, whether he likes it or not. I he is one of the most powerful men in real estate, and he was at my house having a fantastic conversation one-on-one -on -one with you, and I just think that is super neat. Yeah, and it's wonderful to, you know, sometimes I think I'm just, you know, a, just a little tiny fish in a big pond, but yeah, when you're able to sit and talk to the CEO, like, you know, you guys are buddies from back in the day in college or something, it it is a really nice opportunity, so... I was excited for that as well. Yeah. Well, Jenny, I, I, we're probably coming up on, um, you know, towards the end of time. I, I, I've really enjoyed this four o'clock time slot on talking about exploring EXP. Well, it is a good time slot. And uh, yeah. let's do it again next Thursday. I mean, we <laughs> might as well. You know, and, and I'll tell you, like, literally – I get a phone call at minimum every day about EXP, and you know there's um, you know we talk about you know there's so much buzz about EXP in our market and and even outside of our market. It's so much fun to see people's interest, uh, whether they're brand new or a top producer. And and what's even cool um, is when they actually do the research and see the possibilities of what EXP can do for them and their family. And it's, it's really neat to see. And I, so I'm really excited about, you know, the, the, the rest of this, uh, this year, 2020, I, I, I really am going to predict that a lot of people are going to seriously consider EXP. And if, and if you're sitting out there watching this and, and, you know, just kind of been thinking about EXP on the sideline, please reach out to, to any one of us. Please reach out to Barb. We would love to be in the conversation with you and talking about our story uh, on what we made the move to EXP and how it can benefit you. And you've got to make the decision if this is truly in your best interest. That's what we want. We want what is in the absolute best interest of everybody that we come in contact with. And now we're going to be, we think that EXP is the best choice for all agents, but you've got to make sure that that's going to be the best choice for you and your family. Absolutely. Right. Well, and I can say I was in that very seat just probably eight short months ago when, and Gussie, you know, I asked you a million questions and made you draw on the whiteboard and made you drive all the way to Pell City. And I did. But, you know, numbers don't lie. That's um, right. Real real estate photos lie, but numbers don't <laughs> lie. <laughs> My shots and real estate photos. <laughs> you know, th this this might be the new uh, the, the new realtor headshot. <laughs> How's that look? I love it. <laughs> Well, Barb, I'm excited to see how you take the platform and grow it even more. And uh, we're here to help you um, get that school opened. Um, I just actually gave up my pre-license and post-license license because I decided not to go that route. I'm happy. If, whatever you need me to do to support you in that, I'm, I'm so happy to do that. 
And uh, you just let me know how we can continue to help you grow. And, and we're just happy to be in business with you. Yeah, Bubba. <laughs> so thanks so much for being our guest today. And uh, guests, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Yes, thanks so much for having me. And yes, I would love if, if anybody's watching and they're interested out on the lake or, you know, even up towards the Anderson Oxford area, wink, wink, you know who I'm talking about. Um, give me a call. I'd love to help you guys out. Well, thanks again for being here. And uh, if ever, anybody has questions, just message one of us. We're always happy to help. Uh, we'll see you next week at 4 o'clock as we explore EXP Realty together. Explore EXP! <laughs>